welcome to another adventure with Silent Hunter 5, a captain of a German U-boat in the North Atlantic. Today I'm stalking an approaching merchant ship. You can just see it out on the horizon. They're still quite far away. It's such a beautiful day. Not like last night where the weather turned foul, and the ship I torpedoed simply wouldn't sink. Torpedo impact! I turned out my gun crew for the first time. started moving closer, just as the oil tanks blow up. Full speed ahead. I love the atmosphere. Part to starboard. Radar 180 degrees to starboard. Radar 0. Radar 0. Approaching like this, in real life, would be hazardous. But this is a game, and I want a good snapshot. Hard to starboard. Radar 180. Degrees to starboard. Here comes my game snapshot. Normally, I use torpedoes for my attacks. But I gained some confidence using the deck gun. At the start of the war, you have 11 torpedoes. But resupplying your empty U-boat requires an extremely hazardous journey back to Germany through British patrolled waters and dangerous blockades. I've learned to conserve my torpedoes now. So I'll try attacking this target with just my deck gun. My approaching target is represented by the red square in this targeting map coming straight toward my sub. The large gray circle represents their visual range. Since I'm surfaced within the circle, they'll see me shortly, and I'm expecting them to turn away. I'll accelerate time to let them get closer. Watch the second hand. Ah, they started turning. I've got a nice big fat profile to aim at now. I'll give the order to fire.
they need a few shots at this range to zero in on the target. It looks like they're struggling to find their target at this distance. I'll move closer. No doubt they'll try to run away. Returning to course. Extreme speed ahead. Graphics in this game are pretty good. Speeding got time again here. That should do. Resume firing at closer range. Okay, I think that's enough. Notice that it takes time for the sound to travel. Half speed ahead. You see the explosions before you hear them. That seemed damaging. Adjusting my pursuit course now. As captain, my job is to sink enemy ships, not cripple them.
I have to move closer and finish it off. Still got propellers turning. Half speed ahead. None of the presets aim for the rear. I guess I'll have to do it myself. a bit tricky. The gun is wobbling with the ocean. Yeah, I think that's got it. Looks like their oil tanks have ignited. I can release the gun crew now. And teleport myself back to the conning tower. According to the historical sites, the watch officers were forbidden to observe the combat action too many subs were lost by surprise destroyer attacks. The destroyers move very quickly. In a few minutes we should see this thing go under. Smoke on the horizon is your first indication another ship may be approaching. I had been ignoring the mini-map. Oh my god, I've got three destroyers closing in. My sub is facing the wrong direction for a getaway. If I submerge, my speed is greatly reduced. I'll try for a fast surface getaway to start. Extreme speed ahead.
I don't see those destroyers anywhere. Going down and closing the hatch prepares the sub for a dive. Yipes! Those whizzing sounds are bullets. I'm being fired upon. I don't have any visuals on them now. Only hydrophone contacts. That's an underwater microphone that indicates direction. I can cheat though and use the external camera. This is not going well. Oh, they've got the sonar turned on me. This is pretty much the end. The red bands are our sonar detection regions. If you're under one of those, You can kiss it goodbye.